And we'll start with a few cleansing breaths. So all together, take a deep, full inhale. Option to shrug your shoulders to reach the ear. And then with a big, open mouth, exhale your breath. We'll do that twice more. Inhale deeply, shoulders shrug, fill up and hold. Open mouth, audible exhale. We'll do that one more time. Feel free to hold at the very top. Maybe you take in one extra sip of air, just like you're using a straw to drink something. Whenever you're ready, open mouth, exhale, let it all go. And then I'll just invite you to start to observe your breath and your body. So maybe you have this like internal dialogue that it's time to relax. Tell your facial expression that it's time to soften. Allow your feet to relax. And then begin to engage your core. Maybe even might feel good to bring your hand onto your stomach. So feel the way your core is strong. That will help support a really tall spine. And then maybe you bring your opposite hand onto your chest. Yeah, really nice. Just take a few breaths here with yourself. Breathe into your belly. Sorry, I have a dog and he's excited about the trash man being here. We'll be done in a second. Take a couple more breaths right here. Focusing on the belly. And then eventually you'll take the breath up into your chest so you can feel your breath press into the belly. And then you can feel your breath rise into the chest. And if it's helpful, you can count. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. We'll do that twice more. The great thing about breathing is there's no right or wrong way. It's just important that you're doing it. At the bottom of your next exhale, hands to your thighs. And then we'll start to draw some circles with the shoulders. You can lean your upper body to the right and then forward. And then you'll swing your upper body to the left and back. Yeah, I'll do that a few more times. To the right, forward, left. Get really creative. Just make sure that it feels good in your body. And then reverse the direction of the circle. So you'll take it in the opposite direction. Maybe you start to roll out your neck as well. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to move as long as it feels good for you. Do that a couple more times. Great. Start to slow down. Join your hands together in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in, thanking yourself for showing up. And then a big breath out. Let it be a celebration of your arrival. We'll move on to hands and knees. You can place your pillow off to the side of your mat or back onto your bed. And then stack your shoulders on top of the wrist. Feel your toes tucked. That's going to create a nice stretch for the feet. And imagine you're just like 
pushing into the hands. Core is strong. We're gonna extend your right leg back. And if you wanna challenge your balance, try reaching your left arm forward. So the left arm is forward and the right leg is back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your right knee underneath your belly button and you can bring your knee into your left hand. We'll do that twice. Inhale, re-extend. And then exhale, pull your bent right knee underneath the belly button, chin to chest. One more time, inhale, reach. And exhale, coil in. Inhale for a length, come back to neutral. Exhale, tabletop shape. Both hands planted to the mat. Knees hip width distance apart. We'll do that on the second side. This time, extend the left leg back. If this is enough, stay here. Keep both hands on the ground. For a little bit more, challenge your balance by reaching your right arm forward. Inhale deeply. Exhale, put your left knee into your right hand, chin to chest. Twice more, inhale, length. Exhale, coil in. Inhale, strong back body. Exhale, creating depth in your core. Take one more breath in. Exhale, tabletop shape. Really nice. And then you're gonna tuck the toes and lift the knees. We'll find our downward facing dog. You can take your feet wider if that feels best in your lower back. And then start to bend deeply one knee at a time. You're stretching your hamstrings, your calves, and the area of your lower back. Sometimes it feels good to take your dog for a walk. Maybe the hips start to sway from side to side. Two more grounding breaths. And then walk your hands and feet to the top of your mat. So you're gonna just walk up, feet will land right behind the wrists, knees bent, grab your elbows, and just swing your torso from right to left. Relax your head. Relax your mind. This is a really nice posture to do at any time throughout your day if you're seated a lot. This helps relax your lower back. Now release your hands to the floor. And then walk your hands onto your hips. Inhale, rise with a strong core and a tall spine. Exhale, arms to your side. Inhale, arms reach forward, palms face to floor. Exhale, chair pose. Use your imagination and pretend you're taking a seat in a chair. But there's not actually a chair there, so you have to really rely on the strength of your legs. Chest stays lifted. Core is strong. Now remember the breath. Every inhale, get a little bit taller. Every exhale, sit a little bit lower. You're here for just three, two. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach both arms high to the sky. Maybe your gaze follows, creating a nice, safe back bend. Exhale, arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, stand up on your tippy toes. It's like you're reaching for your favorite snack in the top shelf. So find your balance. You're creating strength and flexibility in your feet and your ankles. You can stay here or option to start bending the knees while keeping your heels lifted. It's gonna be challenging, but give yourself some credit. You're here for three, Two, inhale, straighten your legs, reach both arms high. 
Exhale, heels down, feet together, and your arms are just gonna relax to your sides. One breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up, stand even taller. Feel the energy in your fingertips. Take a long breath in. And then exhale, swing your right arm under your left and just give yourself a gentle hug. So you're grabbing opposite shoulders. And then start to move just like we did seated. You can go from left to right or draw some circles with the elbows. So the elbows point to the floor, they point to the sky. We're just creating a nice gentle stretch for the shoulders. And maybe you're just moving from left to right. Come back to center. You'll release your arms and reach both arms back up to the sky. And we'll switch it out. Left arm under right. You've got another hug, grabbing opposite elbow. Start to shift from side to side. And then if it feels good, you can even point your elbows up to the sky. Like your elbows were a pencil, imagine you're drawing something with the elbows. Maybe you imagine what you want to draw. Maybe it's a rainbow, or a shape, or an animal. And then bring your back self back to center. Release your arms, relax your shoulders. You're gonna take both hands onto your hips. And then you wanna step your left foot back. It's okay if you travel off the mat. Take your feet a little bit wider so that you feel balanced in your lower body. Inhale, lift your chest, and then option to look up towards the ceiling. With your core strong, exhale, start to lean forward, hinge at your waist, and then you'll probably need to bend the right knee. You're going to frame your right foot on the earth. You can relax your head, chin points to your throat, and bend your right knee as much as you need to. Slow down your breath. Hands come back to your hips. Inhale, rise to stand. Great patience. Exhale, hands unite in front of your chest. Now bend your right knee. Pick up your left foot and start to find your balance. You might need to tap your left big toe onto the floor a couple times. And then think about airplane pose. So you can even fly the arms out wide. Really good. So you're balancing on one foot, chest stays lifted, core is strong. Give yourself a round of applause. You're here for three. Yeah, last two. Inhale, rise, feet together, both arms reach high. Exhale, hands come back to your chest. Hands return to your hips. This time you'll step your right foot back and take the wider stance so you've got balance. Inhale, lift your chest. Option to gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lean forward, keep your feet planted and then frame your left foot with your hands. You'll probably need to bend your left knee. Start to deepen your breath. You're creating sensation in your hamstring on your left leg. So that's where you want to breathe. Where you feel the stretch is where you want to send your breath. Okay. 
hands return to your hips. Inhale, rise strong. Exhale, hands unite at your chest. Bend your left knee. Pick up your right foot. We're creating that same airplane shape. So lean your chest forward. Find your balance. Remember, tap with the right big toe if that helps you. And then when you're ready, find your full expression airplane pose. Stay with your breath. You guys are doing awesome. You come out early, no big deal. Inhale, rise, feet together, both arms fly high. And then exhale, arms relax to your sides. Great job. Inhale, let your shoulders shrug to the ears. And exhale, let your shoulders relax on your back. Hands to your heart. Take a moment, maybe close your eyes. Slow down your breath. And just celebrate everything you have already accomplished in your practice today. Thanking your body for moving. Thanking your body for listening. And then maybe even giving a little bit extra thanks for this community, your friends, and this practice. We'll take one final balancing posture. Round your left foot. We'll move into tree pose. Place the sole of your right foot to your inner calf, or you can always use your hands to place your foot to your inner thigh. Hands reconnect in front of your chest, or feel free to grow your branches. Really good. And remember, there's a big toe that can always support you as a kickstand as you work on finding your balance today. Every day is a completely unique experience. Try not to get too attached to what you did last week, or maybe today you're really really surprising yourself and doing awesome. Every day is a new day. Hands come back to your chest. Feet together on the floor. Tree pose, second side. Place the sole of your left foot. You can use your hands, setting yourself up. Option to grow your branches when you're ready. And then if you're really seeking a challenge, you can either look up towards the ceiling or practice closing one eye at a time. You'll probably notice it gets a little wobbly. You can always get back in at any point. It's never too late. Hands come back to your heart, feet together on the floor. Inhale, both arms reach high. Exhale, fold in half. Hands melt through your heart. Inhale, lift halfway, palms on your shins, core is strong. And then exhale, you're just gonna fold, plant the palms. Step your left and right leg back, high plank, just like you're about to do a push-up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, low lunge. Place your left knee onto the floor. And then you're just gonna take a deep breath in here. And exhale, start to shift your hips back and straighten your right leg 
Your palms can travel with you. And a couple of breaths. Your mind is patient. Very calm. And your body is flexible. And really strong. Just one more inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee. And then you're gonna lift your back knee. Inhale, high plank, top of your push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, step forward. Lower your right knee. Pause here where you're leaning your stomach on your left thigh. And then when you're ready, shift your hips back to your right heel, half splits. Hands can travel with you. Flex your toes. Deepen your breath. One more inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee. Now lift your right knee. And then inhale, high plank, top of your push up. This time you're gonna lower your knees to the earth and then take them about as wide as your mat. Big toes touch, child's pose. Hips on heels, forehead to the floor. You can close your eyes, rest and relax your mind. You're exactly where you're meant to be. Come back to that peaceful breath work. Inhale for a slow count of three. One, two, three. Exhale for a slower count of three. Three, two, one. And if you're ready, you can rise. And then you're just gonna make your way into a seat. And then once you're seated, make sure you have enough space behind you. We'll reach forward, use your core, and then exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your back. We're gonna build a bridge. So feet are hip width distance apart, arms are at your sides, palms face down. Inhale, lift your hips and stay right here. Try to keep your neck, nose lined up with your belly button. Take a few full breaths. One more round of breath, you can do it. You'll lower your spine back onto the floor. Guide your knees into your chest. And draw some circles, holding your knees in your hands. And draw your circles in both directions. And then your Feet will land back onto the mat. Relax your arms wherever it feels good for you. And just let the knees windshield wiper from right to left. So they'll just move from side to side. You can hang out 
for a few moments on one side and then switch. Or if you like, just keep it up. Two more breaths here. And then we'll set up for our final resting pose. But first, the most important part, give yourself a hug. So bring your knees into your chest. You can wrap your forearms. Take a deep breath in. Fill up and hold. Open mouth, exhale. Let everything go. Expand onto the floor. Like you're setting yourself up for a really nice nap. Relax your legs. Relax your feet. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. If they're not already, close your eyes. Just give yourself the permission you deserve to rest here. We'll begin to wiggle your toes. Take a nice full body stretch, reach your arms above your head. And exhale, bend your knees. Roll onto either side. And just help yourself up into a closing seat, just like we did in the beginning. Feel free to grab your pillow if that was supported. And then when you're ready, bring your hands together in front of your chest. Take a moment to close your eyes and thank yourself for showing up to your mat today. Thank you each for sharing your practice. And together as a way to recognize and celebrate this moment, we say namaste. You can bow forward if that feels good. <laughs> 